Hello friends. So in this session, we are going to discuss the direct method of finding arithmetic mean of a given data. So let us take an example. Let us say we had a sports meet where uh, two people got five medals, four people got three medals and six people got two medals. So let us say uh, the distribution was something like this. So two people got five medal each, then four people got three medals each. 3, 3, 3, 3, and there were 6 people who got 2 medals each in the inter sports meet. Uh, in the sports meet, right now, the idea is you have to find out what question is what was the average number of medals won by the athletes. Right. So what was the average number of medals won? So if you see, two people got five, four people got three each, and six people got two each. Then the idea is, I have to we have to figure out what was the average number of medal won. Right. So how do I do it? If I have to do it, then uh, we have to sum them up and then divide by the number of such uh, uh, such values. So hence, how many people actually participated? If you see how many people actually won the medal. So if you count them. You can count from, let us say, this is 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So there are 12 people who won uh, medals. So hence, to the average, average number of medals won would be how much? Would be simply 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3 4 times and then 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 6 times correct and then whole divide by total number of sportsmen who won the medals right now if you see this can be done like this or in other way if you see this is nothing but 5 times 2 plus 3 times 4 and this is 2 times 6 divided by 12 can be written as 2 plus 4 plus 6 isn't it same thing in other uh, it's just a mathematical manipulation so if you notice clearly uh, if if you uh, notice closely what you'll see this is nothing but the product of number of medals won by each and how many people had won that number of money? Okay, similarly, this is the first case, then this one is the second case three number of medals won by four people, and two number of medals won by six people, and this is nothing but two people plus four plus six. Correct? Which is, if you see, is nothing but if I have, if I coin 5 as x1 so this is x1 into f1 plus x2 into f2 plus x3 into f3 and whole divided by f1 plus f2 plus f3 so what are the meanings of x and f so x1 is the number of so x i now i when i write i i is a generalized uh, index so i is the index here so it is ranging from what x it, uh, xi's are nothing but x1 x2 and x3 and what are these x1 x2 and x3 number of medals and we had three types or three um cases where uh, number of medals was five and number of medal one was three and number of medal one was two so xi values are five three and two and what is fi fi is nothing but frequency it stands for frequency how many times so how many times five medals were won right so how many times five medals were won two times how many times three medals were won four times and how many times two medals were won six times so if you see notice here this is the frequency table frequency is nothing but how many times and xi is nothing but the values values of we say that these are values of the variables right now this particular expression here is this particular expression here is easy to write when there are only three 
values but if there are many values let's say 100 200 500 like that or many more let's say if you are talking about a full population or let's say a full olympic game then it will be you know more than 100 countries participate in olympic games so it will be very difficult to find out average like that so hence we have derived a not notation to simplify this or shorten it up what is that notation so x1 f1 plus x2 f2 plus x3 f3 plus dot 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 let's say if it was xn fn these many values were there and then divide by f1 plus f2 plus f3 plus dot 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 plus fn okay so these were this was my x bar so bar means the moment there is a variable and there is a bar above it it means average or arithmetic mean right average slash arithmetic mean okay now so this is this particular expression can be written as this sign summation then i is equal to 1 to n i is going from 1 to n and we write x i f i divided by summation i equals 1 and it goes to n f i what does this mean now let us interpret this once again so the moment i say summation x i f i from i equals 1 to n it will mean you start from the value of 1 and go up to n incrementing 1 each time so what does it mean so i'll have to start what is i equals to 1 i is 1 so we'll start with x1 f1 okay now check is i 1 equal to n no then you add 1 to the previous number that means now you write x2 f2 now check whether 2 is equal to n if not then again add one more so x3 f3 then x4 f4 and keep on adding till you hit xn fn and then stop you can't go to n plus 1 this is the value this is the meaning of summation xi fi right similarly summation i equals to 1 to n fi means the value of i will keep on iterating till it reaches n so f fi starts with f1 then increment it by 1 so f2 then go to f3 and every time you add you keep checking whether you have reached the value n or not so if you reached n then stop okay let us take an example and understand so summation let us say i is equal to 1 to let's say 5 x i f i will be nothing but x1 f1 so 1 is less than 5 so i can add one more x2 f2 2 is again less than 5 so add more x3 f3 3 is also less than 5 so add one more x4 f4 again i can add one more one more x5 f5 now i can't write x6 5 f6 why because the limit is put as 5 right so this is the meaning of summation xi fi similarly summation i is equal to 1 to 5 fi will be simply f1 plus f2 plus f3 plus f4 till f5 and i can't go beyond 5 right because the upper limit is 5 so this is what is the direct method so direct method what do you need to do how to find out mean by direct method so if you have a table you have to first get a table so in the table you have to arrange the data you have to find the variables here xi and how many times they are appearing fi right and then you write x1 f1 x2 f2 x3 f3 and so on and so forth okay so direct method says x bar will be nothing but summation x i f i from i is equal to 1 to n divided by summation i is equal to 1 to n f i right so here you have to make another column another another column and now put x i f i so this will be nothing but x1 f1 this is nothing but x2 f2 and this is nothing but x3 f3 now add all this here so you'll get summation xi fi you add this column 
and here you'll get summation fi right so what is x bar x bar is this okay so in this case let us solve this so hence if you if let's go here right this is xi f5 let us make the table once again so the table was let us say this is xi fi and i'll make another table xi fi so the values were 5 3 and 2 and here it was 2 4 and 6 so what is xi fi 10 what is next case 12 and this is 12 right 5 2 is a 10 3 4 is a 12 2 6 is a 12 right now summation xi fi will be summation i is equal to 1 2 3 in this case xi fi is nothing but 34 right 10 plus 12 is 22 22 plus 12 is 34 and what about summation xi summation fi sorry so this is i equals to 1 2 3 it will be 12 isn't it so what is x bar x bar is nothing but summation x i f i i is equal to 1 to n divided by summation i is equal to 1 to n f i which is let us find out these values from the table so 34 upon 12 which is 2.83 approximately right so yeah 2.83 so this is the mean so this is the mean of or the number of average number of medals won in that competition okay this is how this is what is meant by direct method of finding arithmetic mean